hold it up, cat, and then circle it through tabletop and all the way up to cow. Again, inhale, cat, really round your back, get a good stretch of the spine, and now slowly go to tabletop, and now open it all the way up to cat cow. One more time, inhale, and exhale, great way to stretch your spine. And now slowly bring your arms in front of you to a wonderful stretch of your spine. Sit down in child's pose, feel the stretch through the arms, really plant your hands down, feel the stretch in the low spine, and hold. Take a deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Now slide your hands a little further and now reach your butt up, up. And now slowly ease your body into modified down dog. Hold it up. Feel the strength in your arms. And now slowly lift all the way up to tabletop. Keeping your back straight, spinal neutral. And now slowly bring one arm up and the opposite leg and bring it in to work the spine and reach it back out and hold. One more, bring it in, touch your elbow to the knee and reach it back out and hold. And let's switch, hold the balance pose, reciprocal reach for the spine, bring it in, press it back out, hold, bring it in, feel the abdominals working and reach it back out and hold. And now slowly keep your leg up. Walk your hands slightly forward. And now slowly do a chaturanga with bent elbows. And push away. Wonderful. Let's try that again. Lean forward. Elbows come in close to your body. And push away. Wonderful. Switch legs. Bring the other leg up. Hold it up there. Abs are tight. Lift your leg. And now slowly chaturanga, using your strength in your arms and push away. Try it one more time. Go down, the chest is up. And push away. And now slowly stretch your hips to one side and now to the other side. Oh, it's a wonderful stretch. And now back to tabletop and do a full circle for your hips, your thighs, your waistline, your back. Great. And switch circle all the way around. Really loosen it up. Nice, simple, easy, flexible. And hold the stretch. Now let's curl our toes under and get ready for a down dog. Slowly lift your hips, keeping your knees bent. And feel the length through the spine, the length through your hands. Keeping the knees slightly bent on our first one and come back down. Let's try that one more time. Lift up through the buttocks, lift your tushy up, and now stretch back. Stretch all the way. Are you ready to get your legs straighter now? Oh, it feels so good. Feel the length through the spine, and now slowly bring one leg through, and now slowly the other, and stand up nice and tall, lengthen through the back, and a mountain pose and hold to prayer position. Abs are tight. And let's take it all the way up and inhale up. And exhale, dive forward, dive forward and just feel the length of your spine and drop your head this time. Shake your head out now. Oh, relax the neck muscles. And now slowly lift up to flat back. Hold it up there, abs are tight and reach back down. And slowly bring one leg behind you, bring the other leg around, hold it right here, and bend your knees, take it down to up dog, hold, hold, hold. And slowly curl your toes under, push yourself all the way up to down dog. And hold the pose. Inhale, take three deep breaths. Exhale, two more. Inhale, very deep. And exhale out. One more inhale, and exhale. This time, slowly lift one of your legs up. Lift it up, 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 up. That's it, hold it up there. And release. Let's try the other leg all the way up. 
Hold it up there. Hold it up there. And release. Beautiful. And come all the way through. And stand up all the way up. Nice smiling face. And release. And now let's turn our legs forward and stretch your arms out. Slowly stretch your arms out. That's it. And turn your toe. And let's get ready for side angle pose. Hold it into warrior. And now let's reach with your elbow down and reach straight over. Can you stretch your body? Stretch. Open up through the hips. Can you look up? That feels so good. Hold that stretch. And slowly come back all the way up. Press the leg. Turn your toes. Turn it out. And let's go to warrior two on the other side. Now hold it right here. Place your elbow here, and now slowly lift up and over. Feel graceful. Feel light on your feet. Stretch that leg all the way straight. That's it. Now lengthen your body into side angle pose. Lengthen the spine. And now come all the way up. And let's try it one more time. Let's take it to the next level. Warrior. Then into side angle. And this time, if you could reach down and open up through the chest and smile, you're feeling good, you're doing something that's healthy just for you, your yoga practice, opening up through the hips, and slowly come up and reverse warrior, all the way up, lengthen through the spine, and now slowly come up, straighten out your legs, and slowly switch to the other side. First one is a warrior, stretch it out, and side angle, reach. This time reach all the way down if you can. And now open up your hips, that's it. You could also use your arm to kind of open up the knee there so it doesn't roll forward. Keep everything in a nice, straight, perfect alignment. Good technique is so important. And now come all the way up and reverse warrior. Lift your chest up and get deeper into the warrior as your upper body lifts up towards a beautiful sky. And now slowly come all the way up and release. Now I'd like you to clasp your hands behind you, stretch them out, opening up your chest in front, and slowly lean forward. Slowly lean forward, clasping your hands, opening up through the chest. Oh, so good for you. Relaxing your neck. Just let everything hang. All the tension that comes right out. And now bend your knees. Place your hands on your thigh. And roll up. Let me see that smiling face. Beautiful. And bring your legs together. Inhale all the way up. And exhale out. Great. Now let's try eagle pose. Bringing your arms up. And bring them all the way through, one in front of the other. Opening up your upper back muscles. Opening up, crisscross in front like an eagle. Chest is up. Now lift it up. And can you come down and round the back to stretch your spine. This is great spinal exercise. And lift it back up. And press your leg behind you. And lift up to eagle pose. Really open up your back. Such a great stretch. And relax. Inhale all the way up. And exhale out. Now swing that other arm in front and switch. That's it. And tuck under first. Tuck under. Bringing your elbows towards your knees. Oh, doesn't that feel wonderful? And now lift all the way up. Lift your arm behind you and your leg. And lift all the way up. Hold the eagle pose. Open up through the back. You're widening through the back. No more tension back there. And slowly release. And now slowly standing up nice and tall. I want you to try a great tree pose. Just position yourself right here and try to balance. It's very important to try to balance on one foot. So great for you. And press your hands together and release. Inhale and exhale. Let's go to the other side. Bringing your hands together and leg goes out. Hold it upright, stomach is in, prayer pose, hold it, hold it, and release. And slowly stand up nice and tall in mountain pose, and release, hold right here. 
Wonderful. And now slowly stretch your legs out to the side. We're going to get down into a lunge position. Reach your hands straight in front of it. And now open up through the back. Rotation. A revolve. Hold that. Lift up higher. Straighten that leg to feel the stretch in your inner thighs. And release. Place your hand on your thighs. Stand up nice and tall. Let's go to the other side. Lunge first. Feel the inner thigh stretching. So great for good blood circulation. And now reach down and all the way up. Reach up. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. Be mindful of your breath. Just take your time. This is for you. Stretch. Yoga. Feels so good. And slowly come up. And now slowly turn your toes all the way out. Bring your body down and hold. You could bring your feet in and sit nice and tall. Lift your chest. Press your elbows against your inner knees. And really feel that inner thigh stretch. So important to get good blood circulation in your legs. And now come all the way up. Lift up, 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 up. Bring your legs together and take a nice deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. And exhale all the way out. And come all the way down to the floor. Bringing your knee to your chest. Slowly roll over. And stretch out the leg series now. Bringing your tummy nice and flat. Bring one leg up. Hold the leg. And now slowly bring it towards you. That's it. You could rise up and meet your leg and hold. Hold. That's it. Hold and release and now slowly bring your leg around and hold the position hold that stretch and now the other leg comes all the way up bring the leg straight up lift your head and shoulders if you like get a wonderful hamstring stretch hold the stretch and slowly relax the back and bring the leg across and forward hold Feel that stretch. And now rock yourself all the way up. All the way up. Slowly step nice and tall. Bring the leg around you. Swing it into a wonderful pigeon. Now that our hips are warmed up. And hold. Chest is high. Feel the stretch all through the back of those thighs. That's it. And now slowly lean slightly forward. Oh, can you feel that? It's a wonderful stretch. Hold that stretch. And now placing your hands down, lift yourself into plank. Hold the plank, nice, strong body, strong mind. And now slowly turn to the side and lift all the way up to T-stand. Lift up, strengthen. If you need to start with your knee down, that is wonderful. It's okay. And let's go to the other side. Slowly bring this leg through into pigeon and stretch it back. Hold the stretch. Hold the stretch. If you like to lean slightly forward, just fold yourself forward. Float down. Feel that awesome stretch. It's great balance of tone and stretch and yoga. I love it. Lift up your chest and really feel the length of your spine. And let's turn to the side and lift all the way up to T-stand. Try it on your knee first, and if you're pretty good with that, go to the next level all the way. Hold it up. Hold it up. Lengthen through the spine. T-stand. Hold it there. And relax. Bring your legs together. And inhale. And exhale out. That's it. And stretch to gait. And to the other side. Stretch all the way. Feel the balance and the harmony in your body. And inhale up. And exhale out. A couple more just like that. Last one. Hold it out there. And release. Bring your hands down. Lift yourself all the way up to plank pose. Hold yourself in plank. Slowly bring one knee to the chest and release. 
Let's try it to the other side. Bring your knee to your chest. And release. Try to bring one leg up. Squeeze the bottom. Hold it up there. You're strong. You're lean. And release. And the other side. Lift up. And release. Bring your leg all the way up. Lift your chest up. And take it back. Slowly lean back. Hold it there. Feel the length through your quadriceps. You're holding it. Hold it there. Hold it there. And lift back up. Now, placing your hands on your bottom, placing your hips forward, and now just kind of lift up to the beautiful blue sky. Hold that stretch. Open up your chest and release. You could also take it to the next level. Bring your hands all the way to your heels and then lift up. And one at a time, come all the way up. And now slowly release. Bringing your body all the way down and hold. And now clasp your hands behind you and lift your chest and shoulders and hold. Our wonderful back series. Hold the flexibility and release. And now slowly lift up. Press your hips back in a child's pose. Press it back. Feel the length in your spine. And come all the way back to crescent pose. Lift your chest up. Hold the back leg up. And now can you rise up as tall as you can? Hold it right here. A little deeper. Lengthen and release. Bring your legs together and lift up. And let's take it to the other side. Just lengthen the leg behind you. Reach all the way up. Lengthen through the body. And come all the way up in standing pose. I like to show you my favorite exercise. So let's turn to the side. Press here. It's called a half moon. Hand comes here. You're going to lift everything up. And you're going to hold it. You're going to try to flex the foot up. Just give it a try. Half moon. Balance pose. Strengthening the quads. Lift your quads up from your knees. That's it and release let's try it with the other arm reach up stretch it up and out reach it up high reach it up high great and slowly release and slowly come down and let's roll all the way back all the way back and lean slightly back bringing your legs straight up straight up and straight down thinking about good posture good posture hold it out there wonderful and bring your legs in and come all the way down to your back and slowly lift your chest up and we're going to rock our hips up and up into bridge dancing bridge hips come up great for stability in your hips and it's wonderful for your back. Just hips, just dance those hips up and back. That's it. Just reach it up, lift it. That's it, just two more. Last one. Okay, and hold it up there, hold it up. Hold it up and bridge. That's it. It's great for your back. And slowly come back down. And one more time, just lift up, hold it this time. Hold it, that's it. You're doing great. Great stability for the lower half. Great for your hips. And come all the way down. And slowly roll up. Let me see your smiling face. And let's take a deep cleansing breath together. Inhale up. And exhale out. Beautiful. And one last spinal twist. Inhale up. And exhale twist. Lengthen through the spine. Lift through the top of your head. Lengthen and twist. It's great for your body. And release. And let's switch legs. And let's twist to the other side. Just twist. Look to the other side. Twist, twist, twist. That's it. Such a great waistline workout here. Just twist. It's a great stretch. Keeping your back healthy. Twist, twist. And release. Let's take a deep cleansing breath together. Inhale up. Exhale out. 
Wonderful. Thank you for your practice today. Take this great feeling, the calming effects, with you all day. And I'll see you right here for your next beginner yoga on the beach. Namaste.